I'm Owen Big Line. This is the Inside Edge video blog. Okay, is a correction in the near future for Vancouver real estate? Um, I guess if I wanted to play that how to make money on YouTube 101, then you can take that $99 class and they'll teach you how to get clicks and how to make revenue on YouTube. I would say, hey, the crash is coming, guys. Crash is coming, hold on, the end is near. And then you know, I would post it with one of those, uh, those uh, photos they tell you to do with you're surprised or in shock. But <laughs> that's not what my channel is about. I'm not trying to make money off my YouTube channel or get clicks. I just wanna give you guys good, actionable, advice and good counsel when it comes to Vancouver real estate and investing and your mindset and the inspirational ones I do on Saturday. That's what this blog is about. But unfortunately, there's a lot of bloggers out there, YouTube channels that aren't about that. They don't have the first clue about Vancouver real estate or investing. They don't have two dimes to rub together, these guys, but that's not what it's about. It's just create a negative doom and gloom narrative uh, to try and grab your attention to get clicks to make a little bit of money on YouTube. But, you know, is a slowdown coming in Vancouver real estate? Well, we're in the dog days of summer now. What I'll tell you is, you know, it's like that broken clock theory. You know, you're, you're gonna eventually be right, and for sure, one of these days, this market is going to take a bit of a correction or a slowdown. We have had a pretty incredible run here since early spring that nobody saw coming, even myself. You know, what is it, 10 or 11 interest rate hikes and the market has just proceeded to keep going. One of the reasons for that, of course, is, and I've done lots of blogs, is the lack of inventory. People are holding tight to what they have and that's kept the market pretty strong here. Now, is that gonna continue into the fall? We'll have to see. Uh, I could see things slowing a little bit. I can tell you that now that we're into August here, I am seeing the market starting to slow a little bit, but also inventory and new listings coming out have also dropped quite a bit too. I don't list a whole lot in the late part of the summer. I usually wait until after Labor Day, which I have a pretty good uh, 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 inventory here that I am gonna be rolling out later this uh, fall. But based on a couple of sales that I just recently had, uh, I, these were good quality strata. I know the buildings really well. I was on the buy side and I was expecting to have to get into multiple offers on these, both these units. It turned out I was the only offer. Uh, we were on one of them here. We were willing to go 15 or 20K over ask. As a matter of fact, we had everything ready to go. The bank draft, writing subject free, uh, and we were willing to, you know, depending on how much competition we had, go anywhere from 15 to 20K over ass, subject free. Turns out we were the only offer, still wrote subject free, but got it for 5K under ask, which was great. Similar situation with another unit I just had in the West End. Was expecting multiple offers, willing to even go over asking, subject free, and we were the only offer. So part of that is the dog days of summer. A lot of realtors, including myself, are away for the summer. I've been traveling a fair bit. I was in LA a couple weeks ago. I just got back from New York City and I'm getting ready to take off again here in another week. So a lot of realtors are on vacation here. The big thing, just like when I did this blog back in the spring, you know, it will depend on inventory. Now, I kind of thought inventory would, and it should have, increase this past spring. We had the eight or nine hikes here. Wasn't looking too good. Inventory was still low, but we should have gotten inventory in the spring and it never materialized. We're at the same crossroads here for the fall. Uh, and we just had another two quarter point interest rate hikes. What are we at? I've lost count. Is that 11 hikes or 10 hikes? I forget. Uh, 11 hikes, I think. Uh, we're now at a 6% variable rate. We're in August here. Inventory is low. Realtors are on vacation. Now, in the fall, in September, we generally start to see some inventory come on. I have, I believe, about three or four listings right now in the docket, ready to roll after Labor Day. And I'm sure a lot of other realtors, listing realtors like myself, who do a lot of business downtown, are probably in the same boat. So we'll see if inventory, just like I was saying last spring, spikes up a little bit, you're gonna see the prices start to moderate a little bit. You know, the other thing is, is that we just had a couple more quarter point hikes. The 10 hikes or 11 hikes, I forget, I've lost count. Uh, a lot of those still have not had an effect yet on the market because most homeowners are in fixed term mortgages and those have not come up for renewal yet. But when they do, 
watch out. They're going to go from a 2.5, 2.7 fixed to a 5, 5.5 point fixed, which is dramatic. Most uh, Vancouver homeowners, especially principal residence owners, probably are not going to have a problem with that. But there are some investors uh, that are holding properties that if they go from a 2.5 to a 5 or a 5.5% interest rate, that could hurt them. Some have the wherewithal to withstand it. There are some that don't. So we'll have to see. But you will see over the next 10 to 12 months, every month, people that were in fixed term are slowly having to, to renew. Um, and we'll see where that goes moving forward. The other thing I've talked about before too, it's people that have these home equity lines of credit. Those are at much higher interest rates. A lot of people take those out to do renovations, renovate a kitchen or a bathroom, and they're paying seven, seven and a quarter percent. So we just had a couple more quarter point hikes on that. That can do some damage as well. But we'll see where it goes in the fall. I wish I had more information I could give you guys and give you the, the I'm so sure that the market is gonna crash this fall uh, and, and prices are gonna go down. You know, I think a few things. I think if, if you thought you had to sell over the next six to 10 months, so let's say your tenant's gonna move out in the fall and you're thinking of selling, I would say probably try and list it in the early part of the fall, maybe get ahead of it, because I think as these interest rate, fixed term rates uh, mature over the next 18 months or so, you're gonna see a little bit more inventory come online and that will put some downward pressure on prices. So I think if you had to sell or we're gonna planning on selling, probably sell sooner rather than later to get ahead of a little bit of that inventory, because right now it's low and good quality condos are in still in high demand, especially good quality one beds. There's just not a lot out there right now. So we'll see where it goes. Um, you know, but I think, you know, also too, on the number of hikes we've got, inflation continues to come down pretty quick here. I think, you know, the Bank of Canada and the Fed in the U.S. has over tightened here, but it's not surprising. That's what they're going to do. They're going to err on the side of caution and they're going to over tighten rather than under tighten and then have inflation rear its ugly, ugly head in down the road. So they've over tightened here. Uh, as far as rates coming down, I don't think, I think they're going to stay pretty elevated here for a little while still. Maybe this time next year or fall of 2024, we could start to see a few quarter point reductions. But I think for people that have a mortgage coming up for renewal in the next 12 months or even the next 18 months, I'm pretty certain that your renewal is going to be substantially higher than what you're currently paying now. So we'll see what the inventory does this fall. There will be some people that when they renew are gonna have to sell, which will boost up the inventory. Final thing I'll say, if you're a young person, you know what I've always told you guys is to buy your principal residence. And buying your home is a long-term commitment. Uh, you're gonna hold it, enjoy the home for 10, 15 years. I wouldn't try and time a market. I would say once you've got the down payment in place, you're qualified, hire a good realtor, buy the home. If prices go down 5% over the next 18 months, it shouldn't be of much concern to you. I own a lot of homes and it's of no concern to me. I don't really pay much attention to the day-to-day -day ups and downs of what prices are at from this year, next year, or the year after that. I look at it from 10, 15, 20 year uh, time horizons and you should too, especially if you're a first time buyer. I'm Old Big Len, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week.